Welcome, bienvenue à la GEO du, du CEC. I'm going to try and do this as bilingually as I, as I can. If I, if I miss something or slip up or if you need a clarification, don't, don't be shy. We're a small group here, so uh, uh, everyone pretty well knows each other. So uh, it'll just be a slip up if I forget, not because I, it's not because I want to. Um, I'll start by uh, uh, introducing myself. Um, I know most people here, but my name is Scott O'Coin, uh, and uh, I've been president for a term, and uh, uh, this will be my last term. I'm stepping down after this and uh, staying with the board to sort of hand over the files, and uh, I'm happy to uh, uh, see a lot of people here uh, tonight that may want to be on the board in the future. So thanks to all of you who have been on the board in the last year. I'm going to start il y a pour parler euh, euh, de l'AGA de soi, c'est une petite affaire spéciale, c'est quasiment, quasiment pour deux ans. Euh, vous allez voir, je vais alors regarder au, au, au rapport financier de, de 2018 aussi. Euh, puis c'est manière d'être cause spéciale, puis pas rien qu'à cause de COVID. Um, so, the AGM tonight uh, is a bit of a special case. It's almost, for, it's almost covering two years. Um, Our fiscal year end is in January, um, but over the past four or five years, we've been having the AGMs in the fall, um, which is a bit late, really. We wanted to uh, push that and try to do it in the winter. So in 2019, instead of having the AGM in late October, November, we tried to do it in uh, January to align more with the fiscal year end. Uh, but then because of storms, and then another storm, uh, uh, the second date we, we tried for the cancellation date, uh, we didn't have quorum for the AGM, so there was a big snowstorm and then a strat the second time. And then COVID-19 hit, so we're six months on. So at this year's AGM, we'll have financials for, for two years, and the notes uh, that will be read will be from 2000, November 2018. Ça fait que c'est vraiment pour deux ans, euh, cette année, euh, à cause qu'on essayait de s'aligner avec l'année fiscale, mais aussi euh, COVID-19. Euh, ça fait que on n'a pas mis de paquetage en avant aussi, à cause de COVID-19, puis pour sauver, sauver du papier. Tout va être là-dessus. Stéphane, je ne sais pas si tu es capable de monter euh, l'agenda. So, we didn't give any handouts except for the membership forms, uh, just to try and minimize the amount of contact and also the paper we're using. So, we'll have everything up here on the screen. Uh, if there's something you can't see, don't, you know, feel free to ask and, and we'll try and clarify as much as we can. So, we're going to pull up the agenda. See if we can zoom it in a little bit. Everyone okay with that? Un petit well in the Ça fait que faudrait probablement penser au point 2, uh, l'adoption de, de l'ordre du jour. Um, so, to, for the second point, the adoption of the agenda. Um, I don't know if anyone has anything else that they want to add to the agenda. S'il y a des autres, s'il y a quoi d'autre à ajouter à l'agenda? Deuxième fois. Sold. Ça fait que s'il y a une motion euh, dans l'Assemblée pour adopter l'agenda, on peut présenter. Lisette, bonjour. Au coin, bonjour. C'est au dé de Harvey. Bonjour. Pas au coin, bonjour. OK. Ça fait qu'on va continuer avec euh, le troisième point. C'est le procès verbal de l'AGA de novembre 2018. So the third point is uh, the meeting notes from November 2018. Uh, I will note that the secretary at the time was René Oquan, and he can't be here this evening. So Jenna, who is our current secretary, will read for René. Um, so if there's any discrepancies, we'll take it up with René, but uh, uh, we'll have a close look at those too. <coughs> So 
I'm Jenna LeBlanc. I was the secretary for the last year for the Economic Council. Um, so bear with me, the, this um, uh, resume of this is in French, so I'm going to translate as best as I can in English as well. Um, so Shetty Camp Economic Account Council, so there was 20 people per present at the 2018 AGM. Um, so point one is the opening of the reunion. So the president salutes the bienvenue at 7 p.m. So l'ouverture de la réunion, bienvenue du président. Le président souhaite la bienvenue à 7 heures et présente l'ordre du jour. Point two. Um, so the, the order of the day, so the motion is to um, propose that it's adopted, the order of the day is, is adopted, uh, at, uh, is, uh, presented. Um, so it's proposed by Angus and um, appuyed by Lisette O'Coin bourgeois and adopté à l'unanimité. Point 3, lecture du procès verbal de la dernière réunion annuelle du 22 novembre 2017. Motion, il est proposé d'adopter le compte rendu tel que présenté. Proposer l'adoption du procès verbal de la dernière réunion annuelle par René Aucoin, appuyé par Lisette Bourgeois, adopté à l'unanimité. So, uh, the lecture of the um, procès verbal from the last reunion, uh, annual reunion, November 22nd um, was proposed and adopted by um, Lisette Bourgeois and by René Aucoin. Point 4, lecture du rapport financier par le au 31 décembre 2017. Motion, il est proposé d'adopter le rapport financier tel que présenté, proposé par René Aucoin, appuyé par Stéphane Song et Adopté à l'unanimité. So, the lecture of the financial report was given by Sylvie, our treasurer, um, from December 31st, 2017, and the motion was proposed and adopted uh, by everyone on the board. Point 5, le revue des statuts de, et règlements. Suggestion par Lisette de regarder la composition des directeurs. Pas de motion nécessaire. So, we had a review of the uh, status of our um, Reglementations, and it was suggested by Lisette to um, review our composition of directors, so it was not necessary to have a motion for this. Six, le rapport du président, uh, événement, fait A, le cas d'entrepreneuriat des jeunes, B, arbre du, par le groupe Métis, uh, participation à l'atelier qui est Breton Partnership, uh, Welcome Newcomers, so uh, workshop at Shitsikang. Uh, Straight Area Chamber of Commerce, uh, workshop at Shitsikang. CBU Atelier au sujet des stages étudiants qui pourraient travailler à Shitsikang. Uh, 20 personnes ont participé. Um, so we had the report from the president and he um, highlighted the events. So we had a camp, entrepreneurship uh, camp for young people and there was um, a tree of a uh, different, a group, a Métis group. Um, participation at this atelier uh, was with K Breton Partnership. Um, so there was a welcome to newcomers, so a workshop in Shetty Camp, the street area chamber of commerce workshop in Shetty Camp, and uh, there was a CBU, an event put on by CBU, um, an atelier uh, that was uh, for internship for students, um, for them to work in the summer in Shetty Camp. And there was 20 people that had participated in this program. Um, so the third point for uh, the report from, le troisième point du rapport euh, du président, André Bourgeois, uh, we need more information questions regarding engineering design. So I think this was related to uh, the uh, Mathieu project. Uh, Keith McDonald uh, de la municipalité. Municipalité n'accepte pas de payer la balance pour les plans d'ingénierie, uh, mais celle-ci propose de l'appuyer par, par autre façon. 
uh, do possibility with program federal coastal program. Um, so we had a meeting um, with the municipality uh, representative Keith McDonald, and um, the municipality didn't accept uh, to pay for the balance for an engineering plan that we uh, proposed, we had looked into, um, but they wanted to support us in other ways. So there was the possibility of uh, forming a partnership with um, a coastal program that's funding funded with uh, um, government, yeah, government funding. Le point D uh, du la présentation du président, les lampadaires. Fait, point un, Alfred Poirier, conseiller municipal, les lampadaires doivent être réparés. Ceci devrait être inclus avec le gros projet promenade. Point two, André Bourgeois Boardwalk is an excellent asset to the community rather than a money maker. Point three, mention que la promenade Boardwalk uh, par Angus Lefort est venue au coin uh, de pas um, de pas vendre le Boardwalk ou le, les propriétaires et continuer de travailler en, en confidence avec la municipalité. Uh, fait qu'il y avait un point A de um, de faire des réparations euh, à court terme du boardwalk, puis à long terme de, euh, de faire les, les, les réparations nécessaires. Ça fait qu'il y avait une motion de passer avec deux noms et une abstention. Um, so, point D, we had a, um, Alfred Poirier, our municipal councillor, um, talked about um, the lights that are on our um, street walk, our walkway, and that they had to be repaired. Uh, this should, this um, repair should be included in our large project for uh, the boardwalk. Um, and André Bourgeois uh, thought that boardwalk was an excellent asset to the community rather than a money maker. And there was a motion uh, presented for the boardwalk and the promenade, which is our um, sidewalk, by Angus Lefort and René to not sell the boardwalk property and continue to work in confidence with the municipality on short-term repair for the boardwalk to make it uh, secure and for a long-term fix as, as well. So there, the motion was passed and there was two no's and one abstention to um, the motion. Um, Jolene and Basil also put a motion in for the boardwalk and that the promenade would be closed from May 1st if it is not, if the proper repairs were not done. Au point 5, il y avait une motion que la promenade euh, et le boardwalk par Jolene et Basil que la promenade soit fermée du 1er mai si elle n'est pas réparée euh, puis la motion était passée. Uh, point 8, présentation par un point de Patrick, Patrick Lamirand du plan économique. Proposition, la création d'une nouvelle structure coopérative strictement pour le développement économique. Point B, avoir un agent de développement économique. Point B, un CDENE devrait être beaucoup plus proactif que présentement. Point 2, avoir un agent de nouveau, niveau municipal. Uh, point four, développer des partenaires stratégiques. So point eight was, uh, we had a presentation on PowerPoint by Patrick Lamiron uh, that, for an economic plan for Shadi Camp. Um, the propositions that he had was point A, to create a new st uh, cooperative structure um, strictly for economic development in our community. Point B, um, he wanted us to have a um, economic development agent that was uh, specifically hired for that in our community. Point B1 was that CDE and E uh, should be more proactive um, than currently. Point two that he had, point B2 was that he wanted to have um, an agent in the municipal um, level. Point three, B3 was that he wanted to um, develop par a strategic partnership. Um, point C, autre priorité pour uh, le plan économique de Patrick Lamiron, 
point C1, c'est que Jolene Larad, euh, CEC, devra avoir un ou des, des employés. So, other priorities that was presented by Patrick Lamirand was that Jolene said that um, the CEC should have an employee or multiple um, employees. Point C2, Stéphane Sung devrait concentrer sur les choses qui ramènent de l'argent. Point C2 was that Sivan Sung uh, said that we should have, that the CEC should concentrate on the things that um, can bring back uh, um, funding. Uh, point C3, Jeannot Chassan uh, propose que la coopération essentielle avec les agences, municipalités, CDENU et autres pour le dévelop développement communautaire. So point C3 uh, was that Jeannot Chassan said that the cooperation, um, the essential cooperation with the agencies, the municipality and the CDENU um, should be Uh, push for more um, community development. Point, uh, le point 4, uh, uh, André Bourgeois uh, a dit qu'on devrait augmenter les connexions avec les taxes de base et uh, augmenter les services. Um, so we had point C4 where André Bourgeois said um, uh, increase connections with tax base um, and increase of services. Le point 1 de, de André Bourgeois était des exemples les lampadaires. Uh, so that was for example for lamp post repair. Le point 2 c'était de uh, aussi uh, waste services, uh, community garbage cans, better pickup, etc. Le point 5 de haute priorité c'était Alfred qui disait uh, que la county needs to balance budget, difficult to raise tax rate. Uh, puis c'était ça, l'ajournement de la réunion à 9h15. Et c'était l'ajournement de la réunion à 9h15. L'ajournement de la réunion proposé par Stéphane Sung, l'ajournement de la réunion à 20h32, uh, soumis par René au point. So there was an adjournment that was proposed by Stéphane Sung, and the adjournment of the réunion was at 8h32 by René au point de secrétaire. Oh, oh, I missed a, a page. Um, so we're going to have to go back. <laughs> so I was on the um, report from the president. Il y avait l'excellence le, communautaire, fait les prix de baisse. C'était quelque chose de nouveau qu'on a fait, fait qu'on a fait le point A. En octobre 2017, 50 personnes présentes au club Le Golf de Boutard. <coughs> so we had a new initiative, we had a um, community excellence um, prize that was presented at the uh, club uh, Le Golf uh, Le Portage. On October uh, 2017, it was a success. We had 50 per, uh, people there. <coughs> Annonce de poste par nos membres. Exemple quoi? So, uh, point A, c'est mettre sur des sites comme monster.ca Canada Jobs. So, we um, announced um, that we wanted to, uh, to post out online um, new job offers that were in the community, so we helped out with that. Uh, membership du CEC 2018, 41 membres, 2017, uh, 30 membres. On avait, une, uh, on avait une augmentation de nos membres en 2018. So memberships for CEC in 2018, we had 48 members. Versus in 2017, we had 30 members. Um, Lettre d'appui envoyée uh, A au centre de la Mitterrand, B sur constitution acadienne pour Chétiquant et Région, CB Partnership, uh, Santé de la Mine de Plante. 
So we had um, a letters sent out to the community. So they were sent to the Mikaram Center, um, and there was also um, the Acadian Circumcision um, for Shetty Camp Region. Uh, there was CB Partnership, Women in Business, and um, the Gypsum Mine Trail. Uh, there was the Projet d'amélioration du village, avec A, la place des pêcheurs, B, dossier d'hébergement, un problème de lo logement pour les travailleurs saisonniers venant d'ailleurs, So we had a project of uh, um, improving um, for the improvements that we wanted for the village. So there was a uh, La Place des Pachios, which is the park that was put on by the um, CRC. And there was also the file for um, lodging. So there was a shortage of lodging, lodging for um, people coming just in the season of the summer for lodging, so just working in the summer season, so we were looking at that file. Plan de développement économique, so à présentation par la, uh, Patrick Lamiron. We had a development of uh, economic plan development, and that was presented by Patrick Lamiron. Stratégie de recrutement. Um, so we had a strategy for recruitment for uh, having new businesses um, join the CC. Fait que nos stratégies de recrutement à ces rencontres avec le CB partnership, municipalité, street area, chamber of commerce. Um, so our strat first strategy for um, recruitment for our businesses was to meet with the CB partnership, municipality, street area, chamber of commerce. Traduction de certains documents communautaires. A. Profil communautaire. B. Demande du CDENE de faire d'autres traductions de documents communautaires. Um, so we had a translation of certain documents in the community. We had a demand for that. So um, A. We uh, developed a community profile. And then B. Uh, there was a Request from the CDENE um, to make translation uh, documents um, translated in the community. Uh, the other point was service. The other point was service in français. A appui de la demande du CCCL pour avoir des services municipaux en français. B bureau à Chitka et autres. So we had a um, request, uh, another file for services in French. So point A was um, we had the uh, backup from the, we had the um, request from the CCCL um, to have more services, municipal services in French. And B was to have um, a bureau in Shetty Camp representing this. So, point 7, la promenade, a financement de plusieurs études, Wave Climate 2007, autre étude, Climate Change uh, 2012. Um, so, our point 7 was um, for the boardwalk. So, point A, we had financement um, for um, multiple studies, so the Wave Climate study in 2017 and other um, studies as, such as climate change in 2012. Le point B, plan d'ingénieur proposé de la municipalité en 2017. Point B, 1, 110 000 plus taxes. À quoi seulement 70%? À quoi nous accordons 70%? Point B, 2, un prix de 55 000 pour la réparation de court terme. Point B3, que Mathieu appartient au CEC, mais certaines parties appartiennent à d'autres. Um, so for our boardwalk, um, point B, we had uh, proposed to the municipality in 2017 to have an engineering plan. 
point B1 was that um, this engineering plan would be of a cost of 110,000 plus tax. Um, ACOA was uh, willing to support us at 70% of this cost. Point B2, um, a, a cost of 55,000 for the repairs um, was estimated uh, short term, short term repairs. Point B3, uh, the Kemachi um, is owned by the CEC, um, but certain uh, parts of it are owned by other businesses or other private people, uh, private, privately. Point C, uh, discussion. Point C1, Angus Le Fort, financement d'un plus grand montant peut prendre plusieurs années. Point C2, Jolene Lara, de réparation n'est pas payant, pourrait se défaire dans quelques années. So the point C, the discussion that we had was that uh, point C1, Angus Le Fort, um, said that a financement for a large project such as this one could take multiple years. Point C2, uh, Jolene said that um, repairs wouldn't be, um, wouldn't generate. generate any funding. Um, so, and this could just be disrupted in a couple of years. So. so I think I went over that and we went over yeah, everything else. <coughs> Oui, mais tu peux bien mal. Sorry, this is um Thank you for bearing with us. Merci de rien. Um, y a-t-il des 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 questions ou des commentaires découlant des euh, des minutes de l'agenda de 2018? Any comments or questions on uh, the minutes from uh, 2018? Okay. Y a-t-il une motion dans l'Assemblée pour accepter les minutes telles que présentées? Is there a motion to accept the minutes as presented? Sylvie Leblanc, une motion de Sylvie Leblanc d'accepter les minutes. Appuyé de Filet. Haché. Merci. Um, Merci, Jenna. Um, I asked Jenna to, to do this, and uh, I forgot to tell her that it would be twice the work. She had not asked her to do the traduction. I didn't ask her to translate. Uh, but thank you very much. And uh, yeah, also it reminded me with all this wiping of the microphone. Thank you again to to everyone who came here. Shixi. Des temps drôles, COVID-19, des fois c'est malaisé, rien que sortir de la maison, ça fait qu'on apprécie vraiment votre présence pour pouvoir faire une réunion euh, puis de participer dans, euh, dans la communauté. So, I know that uh, participating in, in community events during COVID-19 uh, can be difficult, it's hard to get out of the house sometimes, but I really appreciate everyone's presence. Um, so, point four, we're moving on to uh, le rapport financier, uh, to the Treasurer's report. I've been with the CEC for five years now, and I think this is my fourth year as the treasurer. So I'm going to go through uh, the bilan 2018 first, that's the balance sheet. The report is in French, but I'm going to say it in English because I find financial terms are hard to, to translate, but if you want to read it in French, it's all there. So at the end of December 2018, we had $9,032.50 at the credit union. And under liabilities, we had a negative $204.23 at the co-op, so we had a credit there. And you'll see the big amount, this $36,518.24 is the interest <coughs> that we've paid since the beginning of 2012 when we first started reporting on Simply Accounting. So that number doesn't really show a true picture because we're not going to get it back. It's just showing every <coughs> HST that we've paid since that year. 
and that's just the assets less the liabilities for a total of $45,754.97. So that's the balance sheet. There's not much on there. Now we're going to look at the income statement. So the total des résultats 2018. So here, under revenues, we have membership of $1,025, so that's all the $25 that you guys paid today. And I just want to note that the membership drive was done through email and mail in 2018. Um, the 7,505 and 43 cents under location, that's the docking fees that we got for the boats that were docked at the wharf. So we had a total revenue of 8,530 and 43 cents. Under um, the project expenses, Promenade Quai Mathieu Place du Pacher, 4,995 and 84 cents. That included um, things like mowing and landscaping, which was around 2,800 bucks. We had paid uh, 1,900 to Joey Poirier to build a fence and block off stairs and a wall where the, the new park was built, and around $200 for Nova Scotia Power. So under frais généraux, so admin fees, I guess. Uh, frais de membership, 32.50. That's our uh, membership with the Chamber of Commerce that we pay annually. Um, for promotions, we had $971.14. Uh, a big chunk of that was to pay for the awards that Jenna mentioned in her notes, to pay for gift cards and trophies for all the winners. Um, frais de poste, $127.95. That was uh, stamps to mail out the membership and to pay uh, checks. $31.15 is the annual fee we pay to register of joint stocks. $75 <coughs> is the fee to pay um, le club des retraités for our annual meeting. Uh, $60 is the service charge at the credit union. The $1,631.77 under uh, divers is Patrick Lamiron's re uh, report that he did for us. That $1,800 is rent that we pay at La Pirogue for the office and the boardroom when we have our monthly meetings. $775 is the insurance we pay for the boardwalk and surrounding areas. And the $1,165.55 is municipal taxes, but Th that year it was a bit higher because there was two years in that year because there had been a mix-up. So that's the year that they fixed it. So we had a net loss of 3135 cents. So that was 2018. Now for the balance sheet 2019. So at the end of December 2019, we had $1,122.88 at the credit union. We still had that $204.23 credit at the co-op. The HST is a bit higher because more HST was paid throughout the year. So the ending balance, the net worth is $38,280.35. And now if we go back to the other report, the income statement for 2019. You'll notice that the membership revenues for 2019 were quite a bit lower than the year before because the membership was done through email only. So that's why there was only 375. And we ha actually had no rent for the docking fees because that's the wharf that burnt. So there was no room really for the boats to dock there. Under expenses, a promenade Quai Mathieu Place du Cachir, again, the 4507 part of that was mowing, landscaping, boardwalk expenses, and Nova Scotia Power. Uh, $32.50 was our Chamber of Commerce. $200 was a promotion for Le Club Touristique. 
$31.15 is our register of joint stocks. The service fees of $60. Our rent of $1,800. Our insurance of $845. And our municipal taxes for 2019 of $3.80.90. So we had a net loss of $7,474.62. And that's it. Is there any questions? Pour le, le quai à brûler, il y avait-il une réclamation de livres? C'était pas un bateau qui avait brûlé? C'était un bateau, mais ça avait défait au lieu ce que le bateau était. Oui, ok. Le on a eu le cours dans 2020. Ah, ok. Oui. Okay. Ça paraît pas encore aujourd'hui. Oui, oui. Je sais pas ce que tu dis, mais attends, ça va. Je crois que c'était à l'entour de 50, 57 000 piastres qu'on a eu. Ça fait qu'on a l'entour de 50 000 pièces dans le compte à ce tour. Hein. À date. D'autres questions? Euh, y a-t-il une motion euh, dans l'Assemblée pour accepter euh, le rapport financier tel que présenté? So we've been holding on to that, yeah, uh, for the time being. Um, okay, d'autres questions ou commentaires? Okay, on a une motion euh, dans l'Assemblée pour accepter le rapport financier tel que présenté? Alfred Arthur, pardon, merci. Euh, tu parles qui seconde? Jeannot Chiasson. Merci. Euh, adapté tel que présenté. Euh, tout ça en faveur, signalé en disant oui. Contre non, adopté à l'unanimité, j'aurais dû faire ça l'autre fois. Ok, euh, le prochain point, euh, ça serait la cotisation, membership. Euh, on va passer là-dessus vite, mais on n'a rien, rien de trop en avant. On a, il y a deux semaines, on a envoyé euh, tout, euh, tout à travers la poste en cours cette année pour euh, notre, notre campagne de membership. Le même prix comme les autres années, ça fait des années qu'on est là, à peu près 25 piastres. Euh, ça fait que, puis on a envoyé ça par courriel euh, aussi. Puis euh, si euh, ça vous intéresse d'être membre, puis vous n'avez pas eu ça par la poste ou par courriel, il y a des, il y a des euh, pages à l'entrée aussi, si vous ne les avez pas vues. Um, so, this year's membership drive, we went back to mailing it out uh, to all the businesses and uh, via email again this year. Um, if you haven't received uh, a, a sign-up sheet or a, a membership sheet uh, via one of those two methods, there's some uh, at the door if you feel like uh, signing up. Uh, and this year, the price is $25. Um, Sylvie, jusqu'à date, comment... Okay. Okay. So, like, on a une vingtaine de membres uh, jusqu'à date. So, about 20 members so far this year. Um, and uh, the deadline on the page is another two weeks from now, I think, because uh, we wanted to uh, give people a chance to grab it here and, and go home with it. So, thank you. So, for the next one, I'm not so. The prochain point, uh, c'est le point 6, nomination d'un comptable. Uh, on a ça dans nos statuts et règlements, um, mais uh, ça fait plusieurs années qu'on a pas nominé de, de, de comptable pour plusieurs raisons. So, point six is uh, um, accounting services for the CDC to uh, see if we need to nominate an accountant for, for the year. Um, we have it in our, in our rules and regulations that we need to bring it up at the AGM, but it's been a few years since we've had to do that. Um, so I put it to the floor to see if anyone has uh, comments or questions, s'il y a des commentaires ou des suggestions. Je ferai une motion de passer la responsabilité au conseil d'administration to give responsibility to the new board of directors to appoint an accountant or a business accountant. 
account or whatever to look at your finances depending on your budget. Okay. Um, so yeah, teach Kaki the second day la motion. There anyone who wants to second that? Jeremy Felix, second day motion to pass the responsibility to CEO. Uh, so the motion is to uh, pass on the responsibility to the uh, the following board, the board that will be elected. And uh, to ceux en faveur signaler en disant oui, contre non, adopté à l'unanimité. All right, uh, here comes the fun part for me anyway. I'm going to. Bring up my computer because I can't see that super well. Stefan, pourrais tu montrer monter le rapport, s'il vous plaît? Quel? Ça serait euh, le, le premier, le deuxième. Là? Ouais. Ici, il y a moyen de faire en forme de présentation. Ça, ça va. Merci. OK. So, um, I'll start briefly. Je commencerai par parler des challenges qu'on a, comment on organise la plupart de, de vous autres. Ça fait longtemps que vous êtes avec euh, dans les alentours du CEC. Ça veut que vous connaissez bien ça. Um, but for those of you who may not know the organization as well, I just want to briefly sum up what our main challenges are. On a, on est propriétaire d'une infrastructure qui, qui vaut probablement au-dessus d'un million de pièces, mais qui a aussi besoin des réparations de quasiment un million de pièces aussi. Puis ça fait dix ans que que, que l'organisation. Euh, assez de, de travailler sur la question de la promenade, du quai Mathieu, et ainsi de suite. Euh, puis ça fait dix ans que c'est un gros défi. Euh, c'est un défi qui, qui ronge beaucoup de notre temps euh, comme, comme une organisation, euh, puis surtout euh, parce qu'on est, on est à des bénévoles, puis on n'a pas d'autres sources, euh, vraiment de grosses sources de, de financement ou de revenus euh, qui rentrent à part de ça. So one of our main challenges, or the main challenges that, you know, we are the owners of probably a million dollar asset uh, in the boardwalk in Kimatieu, uh, in the town, which is in need of probably about a million dollars of, of repairs, uh, depending how you want to, to look at it, uh, depending on the plans. Um, and uh, uh, we, as an organization, do not have a lot of other sources of revenue coming in. So. Over the past 10 years, it has been the organization's main challenge to, to try and, uh, uh, you know, plan out a future for, for uh, this piece of community infrastructure. It takes a lot of time and effort, especially when we're all uh, volunteers cleaning up the garbage or fixing the lights or uh, putting a coat of paint out there. Um, however, in, in the last few years, uh, we have started to question uh, you know, what we could do, what type of structure could, could help us out and uh, what type of projects or other projects we could branch out into. Ça fait qu'on a vraiment commencé à questionner euh, la sorte de structure qui, qui, qui serait bien pour gérer nos projets, gérer le développement communautaire, puis quelle sorte de projet qu'on devrait concentrer dessus. Um, tu parlais à la première slide, merci. Um, on a parlé du rapport La Mirande, à la GA de 2018, mais il n'était pas final, c'était comme une présentation euh, vite vite de, de quoi ce qu'il avait trouvé. Il l'a finalisé et il l'a présenté une couple de mois après. Ça fait que je voulais en parler vite vite parce que je trouve que c'est pertinent dans la discussion aujourd'hui. So, in 2018, we funded uh, uh, this report from uh, Patrick de Lamirand, he's a professor in economics at uh, CBU. Uh, to kind of help us tackle this idea of uh, uh, what type of structure could help us develop our community and, and what our main issues were. Uh, we talked about it at the AGM in 2018, but his report only came out of uh, after that. So I wanted to touch on just a few highlights there. Uh, prochaine slide. 
Les trois affaires qui vont sortir de son rapport, la première affaire, c'est que le modèle, euh, le modèle actuel, la structure qu'on a pour faire notre développement communautaire, n'est pas adéquate. Euh, ça fait qu'il a écrit « Le développement économique est présentement laissé au bon vouloir d'un trop petit nombre de bénévoles. » So his first sort of observation was that the, the current model is not adequate. The current model in community development for, for Shedding Camp is not adequate. Um, and uh, a quote from, from his report is that the economic development is presently in the hands of, you know, too few volunteers. Uh, la deuxième affaire, c'est que, parce qu'il y a trop peu de bénévoles, que les bénévoles sont, sont à bout, sont fatigués, c'est l'essoufflement du bénévolat. Uh, puis, puis le troisième, c'est que, parce qu'on est juste, bah, pas juste, mais parce que c'est tous des bénévoles, qu'il y a un manque de connaissances, que ça prendrait vraiment un appui professionnel à, 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 à nos euh, associations de développement. So his second uh, thing was that, because it's all volunteer-based, Uh, there's a lot of volunteer burnout. Um, and uh, his third point was that, uh, um, again, because it's all volunteer-based, we there's a lack of expertise uh, within our community economic uh, development associations. And uh, he was recommending, you know, the help from, from uh, professionals. Prochaine slide. Euh, je vais vous parler du rapport Boudreau. Ça, c'était... Uh, uh, une collaboration euh, avec euh, le, le Conseil de développement économique de la Nouvelle-Écosse et la municipalité aussi. Euh, Puis d'autres membres de la communauté que je vois présents, j'aimerais tous vous en remercier pour avoir fait partie de ça. Ça découle quasiment de les discussions qu'on a eues de, de Patrick de Lamiron, d'un manque de, euh, de... pas juste de compétences, mais de capacité euh, pour pouvoir vraiment bien avancer le développement communautaire le développement économique communautaire. Um, ça fait qu'Alfred Arthur a fait partie d'un groupe de travail avec les autres. André aussi a fait partie d'un groupe de travail. Lisette, Jeannot, uh, Lucille, et puis uh, je crois que je vois Régent qui est là aussi. Um, puis, on a, puis Harvey aussi. Um, ça fait qu'on apprécie vraiment le temps qu'on a mis ensemble uh, pour essayer de venir avec des solutions pour, pour le CEC, pour un plan d'action pour le futur, pour un repositionnement, pour essayer de, uh, de bien développer la communauté à, à mesure qu'on avance. So, this year, a uh, bunch of us got together and we started talking about the, you know, coming out of the Lamiron report, some of the, the needs that this community has in terms of economic development. And uh, in collaboration with the municipality and the city e &E, we, we hired a consultant to help us tackle this issue, to help us understand it better. And, um, Many of the people that were uh, uh, on the working group are, are here tonight, and I thank them for their help. And uh, so I'll just go over the key findings in that report, which just came out in March. And it's kind of a follow-up from, from the La Mirande report, really. It touches on a lot of the same aspects. Uh, so, ça fait que j'ai choisi cinq points de son rapport. Uh, so, premier point, c'est que Chetika devrait développer une stratégie de développement communautaire unifiée. Ça fait pas que ça s'est rien que le CEC, mais que ça s'est toutes les organisations ensemble, avec la municipalité, avec euh, tous les niveaux gouvernement, qu'on ait un plan stratégique. So the first point uh, was that uh, it's really important to have a, a, a unified um, a development strategy, community development strategy, not only from this organization, but throughout the community, from all organizations and, and levels of government. Uh, the second point um, is that the community may be lacking uh, a real leadership organization, one that sort of uh, helps coordinate and, and, and represent the community at, at levels of government. Fait, le deuxième point, c'est qu'il qu devrait avoir une entité reconnue vraiment comme un, un leader pour la communauté, qui peut vraiment parler aux différents paliers du gouvernement. Le troisième point, c'est que, euh, euh, ben, ça va avec silence, c'est qu'il devrait avoir une organisation qui pourrait travailler vraiment de proche avec la municipalité. So the third point goes hand in hand with the second one. 
uh, we need to work closer and more closely with with our municipal government at all levels of government. Le quatrième point, uh, c'est que ça prend vraiment pour faire du développement communautaire qui est, qui est meaningful, ça prend vraiment un, un haut niveau d'engagement euh, dans la communauté, mais aussi au, au, aux différents paliers du gouvernement. So, the fourth point was that we really need to work on that community engagement aspect. And not only engaging the community, but our partners, all the other organizations and, and different levels of government as well. And the last point um, is that and kind of on the same point as uh, Mr. Lamirand, even with a really strong group of uh, volunteers, professional help is still needed to, to drive meaningful uh, de community development. Ça fait que le dernier point, c'était même avec un groupe de bénévoles euh, motivés euh, qui manque vraiment un, un aide professionnelle au développement communautaire. Euh, prochaine slide. Puis, le dernier rapport qu'on a fait euh, dans la dernière année et demie, euh, il a été présenté à la communauté dans le mois de juin. C'était un petit plan d'affaires, euh, un plan de faisabilité quasiment, encore en partenariat avec le, le CDENE euh, pour la promenade puis le Mathieu. On a travaillé avec le consultant euh, Jean-Guy Vionneau. So, also, we worked on a kind of like a feasibility study with a consultant in partnership with the CDE&E, um, looking at some sort of um, some activities uh, that we could do to generate funding uh, for on the boardwalk for, for the Kimatu and, and uh, the rest of the boardwalk too. Um, Jean-Guy Viennot was a consultant. He came into town. There was a community session, I think in the month of June, consultations with uh, uh, multiple community members, uh, community leaders, other organizations, and, and an online survey, I think, if I remember correctly. So that he had done all sorts of consultations au sein de la communauté. And the next slide. He had not looked at a couple of things that he had mentioned. Jean-Guy, to start, he had examined other structures, d'autres infrastructures, je vais dire semblables à travers des maritimes. Ça fait qu'à Chediac, à Montague, à, à PEI, à Guysboro, Lunenburg, Shelburne, puis ainsi de suite. Um, puis, une des affaires qu'il y avait trouvé qui était différente dans ces communautés-là, c'est que ces infrastructures communautaires-là étaient vraiment plus soit une responsabilité de la municipalité ou une responsabilité de l'autorité portuaire qu'il n'y avait pas de board de bénévoles qui étaient responsables pour tout gérer ça dans les autres communautés, euh, puisque c'était des exemples de succès. So his first finding in doing a bit of a research around the Maritimes was that, um, uh, and he looked at uh, six or seven communities, uh, similar size to us, was that most other communities that have successful boardwalk and waterfront operations um, those, those operations, those infrastructures are run um, by local governments or by port authorities. And not only do they help in, in funding repairs and so on, um, but they help in the day-to-day, -day in the funding of the maintenance and hiring of students and, and employees uh, to, to run the infrastructure as well. Puis euh, Jean-Guy nous avait aussi fait manière de petits plans d'action euh, basés sur ce qu'il avait entendu dans la communauté et ce qu'il voyait ailleurs. Euh, le premier point, c'est qu'il voulait financer la réparation pour faire sûr qu'on pouvait même faire des activités sur euh, le Quai Mathieu. Il avait aussi suggéré, euh, puis ça avait découlé de la réunion communautaire, euh, la possibilité d'une taxe spéciale. Euh, qui pourrait, tu n'as pas rien qu'à aller au, au financement pour la promenade puis Ken Mathieu, mais à d'autres projets de développement communautaire aussi. Puis aussi, il y avait suggéré de mettre sur pied vraiment un comité de, de gérance qui pouvait vraiment euh, euh, focuser sur la gérance de la promenade puis du Ken Mathieu. Euh, dans les autres communautés qui avaient regardé, euh, il y avait tous des employés payés pour faire ça. Il y avait, il y avait rien qu'une communauté qui avait une board de bénévoles qui le faisait. Euh, 
Puis il nous avait finalement aussi fait une, une, une liste d'activités basée sur les activités qu'il avait vues dans les autres communautés. Puis euh, ça avait, il avait dit qu'on pouvait se faire des revenus d'environ 75 000 par an, et en comparaison comme ça, mais 40 000 de ça naît, naît de la taxe spéciale. So, Jean-Guy, the consultant, also made us a, a little action plan based on his community consultations um, and what he saw in other communities. Uh, the first point uh, was obviously we needed to, to make repairs to the infrastructure in, in order to, to uh, be able to have activities there. The second, uh, he talked uh, about a potential development tax municipally. Um, that could be invested either in that project or other community development projects. And then he really suggested forming uh, another committee that would really be in charge of the day-to-day -day of the running of, of that uh, infrastructure, uh, which is how it's mostly done in other communities. Uh, he said uh, there was only one community in those that he saw that was run by volunteers. Uh, that the infrastructure was run by volunteers, I should say. Uh, there was always someone hired. Um, so he made a, a little business plan and uh, planned out activities for about $75,000 uh, annually. And, and those were, uh, they could be concerts, they could be uh, uh, fitness activities, uh, uh, whale cruises, uh, and so on. Um, but uh, forty thousand dollars of that seventy thousand dollars, seventy-five thousand came from his uh, proposed uh, special tax. Question slide. À part de ces trois rapports là, on a continué à, à travailler sur les, les petits projets qu'on fait pour moi à, à tous les ans. Euh, une affaire qu'on a fait euh, dans la dernière année, c'est qu'on a sécurisé. Euh, transfert de certains terrains au long euh, du Quai Mathieu puis de la promenade, euh, les terrains pour mal à croiser du euh, euh, Herald au coin. Euh, ça nous a été donné, euh, on, a, on a vraiment été chanceux. Euh, puis on a continué, euh, comme Sylvie a mentionné, la maintenance de, de nos infrastructures, que ça c'est avec le fauchage. Euh, Harvey a fait toutes sortes de réparations aux, aux lumières, dans le parc des pêcheurs aussi, dans la dernière année. Euh, puis euh, sur le boardwalk. Euh, on a fait planter des nouvelles fleurs qui, qui dureront une petite affaire plus. On n'a pas besoin de tout le temps les en faire autant qu'on les faisait à tous les ans. Puis euh, la société Saint-Pierre, dans 2018, je crois, a fait peinturer euh, le fort au, au quai du fort. C'est vrai qu'on a vraiment apprécié la contribution là. Euh, cette année, on a eu une entente avec une nouvelle entreprise euh, au Quai Mathieu. Euh, ça fait que vous, je suis sûr que vous l'avez tout vu, il y avait des jet skis et des kayaks euh, dans le hall. C'était vraiment bien de, de, de voir l'activité là cette année. Puis euh, ça nous a généré euh, pas nécessairement des revenus cette année, on, on, on les a perdus parce qu'il n'y avait pas de, de whale cruise, mais on a fait un entente qu'il a fait les réparations à toutes les petites bordesses que vous avez vues aussi. Ça fait que d'avoir remplacé du bardeau, puis avoir peinturé, puis avoir organisé euh, en dedans une petite affaire aussi. Euh, on a fait aussi en 2019 une deuxième édition des, des prix de baisse, les prix d'excellence communautaire, un autre succès. Euh, on n'a pas parlé de les faire cette année, c'est une petite affaire plus tricky avec euh, COVID-19. Puis là aussi, dans le mois de mai 2019, il y avait le feu au Quai du Fort. Comme Sylvie a mentionné, on a collectionné euh, l'argent euh, des assurances. Ça ne sera probablement pas assez d'argent pour tout remplacer ce qui arrivé, euh, mais en partenariat euh, avec la municipalité et euh, d'autres bailleurs de fonds dans le futur, il y aura des possibilités de tabac faire de colons. Euh, puis à part de ça, on a continué à, à appuyer, euh, soit avec des lettres de support, des lettres d'appui, euh, ou, ou par d'autres projets dans la communauté, euh, comme euh, l'Acabie qui voulait agrandir ses services, euh, le sentier de la mine de plantes, euh, le foyer Père Fisette aussi. Alors, on a écrit des lettres pour eux, puis euh, euh, Harvey a participé à plusieurs réunions aussi. Puis euh, la planification stratégique aussi du, du Parc national. So, Apart from those three reports that really gave us, you know, a, a, an overview of our situation, 
Uh, here's some of the stuff that, that we kept doing. Um, so we managed to secure, I think it's two lots of land uh, that were, they were donated to us along the boardwalk, um, which is good if ever we decide to develop that area further. Um, regular maintenance to our community infrastructure, so the Shetty Camp Boardwalk and the Parc des Pacheurs, uh, so mowing, repairs of the lights, uh, flowers and so on. Um, in 2018, La Société Saint-Père helped us uh, by repainting uh, the sort of iconic Acadian flagged uh, uh, lighthouse on the boardwalk. Uh, we had another um, business this year on, on the boardwalk. Uh, we lost the whale cruise due to COVID-19. Um, but uh, you probably saw a bunch of jet skis and uh, kayaks being rented in the harbour this year. Uh, they're a new business, so we were happy to make a deal with them for, for this year. They didn't know um, what they were going to get in terms of tourists and customers. Uh, so this year they helped us spruce up all the buildings you see on the boardwalk this year by replacing some of the shingles, painting, and, and so on. Um, we had another edition of uh, the, our Community Excellence Awards, Les Prix de Best. Um, and uh, we mentioned it before, but there was a fire at uh, Kitty Fall in May of 2019. Uh, we collected insurance money from that. Uh, and uh, moving forward, uh, we hope that in partnership with our, our funders and the municipality, we, we might find ways to, to spruce that up a little bit. And then, of course, we, we continue to support other community projects, either through uh, letters of support or, or attending meetings and so on, uh, whether it was the expansion uh, of the services for Lacabie, um, uh, the development of uh, La, La Mine de Plot Trail, um, uh, needs uh, and the foyer par fusette or, or uh, uh, management planning at, at the national park. Prochain slide. So, les priorités futures. Um, J'ai laissé les priorités qu'on avait um, pour l'AGA euh, dans le mois de janvier. Je crois que ça sera tout à, à rediscuter avec, avec le CA. Euh, mais je voulais savoir si, si vous voulez avoir une discussion là-dessus. Euh, C'est COVID-19 aussi, ça fait que tout a changé. Mais dans le temps, on avait parlé d'explorer un projet d'hébergement, sans encore être besoin dans la communauté, euh, d'explorer euh, la possibilité euh, de faire de quoi avec euh, les... les terrain du, du vieux NSLC et puis de Irving dans le centre de, de la communauté. Euh, la promenade de Clématus est encore une priorité pour l'organisation. Il y avait un projet de, de créer une destination touristique. On parlait avec euh, euh, Patrick au, euh, au Terra de Golf aussi qui voulait faire une application. Euh, on avait parlé de créer un groupe de bénévoles aussi pour nous aider spécifiquement avec le Quai Mathieu et la promenade. Puis aussi, on avait parlé de faire la traduction de nos statuts et nos règlements. So, I wanted to just touch on our, our priorities that we had set, sort of, we were looking at setting in January. Um, and uh, I know things may have changed. We have a lot of new board members coming in, so maybe we, we, we just want to have a bit of a discussion now or later on that. But I wanted to just go over them anyway, just so, so we have them. Um, the first one, at the time we were looking at uh, uh, potentially developing a, a, a housing project or looking at how we could become involved in that. We have land around uh, Le Parc des Pacheurs and there are plans uh, municipally to develop that site as well. Um, we had also toyed with the idea of, uh, you know, what we could do with the old lands where the NSLC and the Irving uh, are uh, right in the center of town, uh, what types of developments we, we could have there. Uh, the boardwalk in the will always be a priority so long as we, we own it. Uh, there was a tourism destination marketing uh, project that we started looking into. I think the municipality has, has made progress on that too um, in the meantime. And then um, other 
things like uh, creating a group of volunteers to help us out with uh, activities and just the boardwalk file, uh, repairs, funding, and so on. And finally, we were looking at uh, uh, the translation of our uh, uh, rules and regulations as well. Um, now, those might be up for discussion moving forward as we reposition ourselves and, and reconfigure. So uh, we, we didn't do it this year, um, but uh, we may want to look at it moving forward again. Question slide. So, so thank you. I don't know if there are any questions or comments or if anyone wants to open up uh, anything uh, to a discussion. But if there are commentaries or questions. On the boardwalk, one question. Now you said there was a, a camera that you had to right away, you know, or you got the land that was being transferred from them to the boardwalk or to the organization CDC. Now, for example, let's say in a year, or let's say five or four or five months down the road, that we're going to invest, let's say, a million dollars. Do we have the right of way from the Kemetu to the end of the Kemetu, not the Kemetu, to the end of the boardwalk where uh, the. Can you follow? You know where the, the end of the burnout uh, okay. Do we have. Uh, my question is. If, if we invest a million dollars or something like this, we want to make sure that it would be accessible for so many years or, or is there any possibility that it could be uh, ordered up, you know, somewhere along the line? Tout le monde a-t-il entendu la question? Has everyone heard the question? Uh, it's about access to land along the boardwalk and if we have it, if we do invest there. Um, from what I understand right now, no. There are private properties along the way, uh, three of them, I think. Um, ça veut pas dire qu'on pourrait pas, une fois qu'on a un plan, puis on a du financement, puis avancer comme qu'on a fait en 93, je crois que c'était, euh, pour euh, essayer de faire des ententes euh, avec les, les propriétaires. Mais ce point ici, je crois que l'entente qui avait été faite en 93, je crois qu'elle n'existe plus, je crois que c'était pour 25 ans. Right. So I think the original um, agreement that was made in 1993 has expired. Um, certainly moving forward, if there was a plan put forward that you know, we bring to the community, then we, we would have to go out uh, and try to get uh, everyone on board. Regent, I don't know if you have more information. Pour plus tard, pour moving forward, on a, on, pour l'avenir, il faudra justement sécuriser euh, qui est les propriétaires. La, la province a un intérêt, so the province has an interest, and the landowners have an interest. Mm. Il faut, 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 faut que ça soit réglé de façon de non pour faire des comptes. So, you can either enter into a, a contract with the landowners and the province. The province wants to get rid of their interest. Mm. So, yeah, so, so just to elaborate on that, the, the province has, you know, an interest in it because it's a lot of it, some of it, not, not all of it, some of it's on crown land as well, it's in the intertidal zone. So there are other discussions that are assez compliqué à avoir au niveau du gouvernement. Mais on a c'est des propriétaires privés. D'autres questions? Andre? Uh, just wanted to clarify so I understand it. Uh, I don't know if anybody else is wondering, but uh, the dock that burned, um, before it burned, uh, in the financial report, and this I didn't take note, that's my fault, which year it was, but am I correct that it generated over $7,000 in revenue? Yes. Yep. So when, obviously, it was in place functioning and the rentals charged for docking fees, the one, what essentially is the season, is probably not the winter time, it generated over $7,000 in revenue. Yeah, I don't know if it was just that dock or if we also included the Kemetu. It might have been both. It might have been both. But in any case, yep. docking fees were over $7,000. Yeah. So that's, that's when we're looking at 
you know, not making a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> it's sustainable amount of money. Yeah. Not positive for you. Yeah, and um, I will add that um, in uh, Mr. Viano's report, the one thing he did say that all those other infrastructures have in common is substantial revenues from a marina. Yeah. Just to add to that, don't forget that this is a marina that was already in disrepair, that there was not a whole lot of promotion being done for, it was just people were showing up here for word of mouth because they met someone somewhere else. It's not for any big amount of support from, say, the, we won't name anybody. It was just people showing up to a wharf that was already kind of not in that great shape. Yeah. And, Think uh, of what we could do with a little bit of support if we actually built a marina that was on par with other places. Darren? Uh, when you talk about the like, intertidal zones and all that, the crown land and all that, um, it makes you think a lot about um, just the environment and how we're going to face that because we're going to have to look at that moving forward with the structure. Where is it going to be? Does it have to come up? I just went for, the, for a walk on the Inverness Boardwalk today. It's much higher up from where ours stands. In terms of the water levels. So if you look back at the, um, uh, the preliminary engineering documents, I think that uh, oh, were drafted up in 2010 if I, or 2012, Lisa? Something like that. Um, the plan was to um, re-armor the whole area and, and raise everything up by at least a meter. Ça fait qu'il y avait des plans pour, pour monter tout, puis tout en faire la roche aussi. Um, Storm, we have wave studies that also indicate that we should do that, but that was a substantial portion of, of, of the cost of redeveloping the whole area. Yeah. Do questions or commentaires? Okay. Have you need to prove my report? Yes. 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 De Philippe Haché, secondé par Harvey Bourgeois. Um, so, motion to accept the report as presented. All those in favor, to sa faveur, si gagné en disant oui. Contre non. Merci. Ok. Euh, le prochain point, le point 8, c'est le rapport du comité de nomination. So, uh, the nomination committee report. Puis, Stéphane, je crois que je l'ai envoyé aussi si tu veux le monter. Rapport du comité de nomination, report of nominating committee. The committee of nomination was composed of members on the nominating committee were Harvey Bourgeois, Moman Lisa Bourgeois, and Jeannot Chiasson. Members present du conseil d'administration, members presently on the board, Scott O'Quan, Harvey Bourgeois, Mark Neary, who had been who did resign, Sylvie McIntosh, Jenna Leblanc, Jaron Felix, Basil Doucet, Stéphane Sung, who had also been who had also resigned. Les membres sortants du conseil d'administration, retiring members on the board, Mark Neary, Sylvie McIntosh, Jenna Leblanc, Basil Doucet, Stéphane Sun. According to our bylaws, um, we need at least nine board members. So, president, président sortant, whatever that is in English. <laughs> Uh, vice presidents, vice president, secretary, secretary, trésorier, treasurer, and at least three other members, and youth representation, so at least nine on the board of directors. Le comité de nomination veut avancer avec les noms suivants. Nominating committee wants to move forward with the following names. Scott O'Quan, comme président sortant, Harvey Bourgeois, Jaron Felix, Léonard Leblanc, Wayne Cormier, André Bourgeois, Neil McDonald, 
Lenora Timmons, Glenna Arsenault et Greg Lavac et les collègues d'IA qui peuvent se trouver une représentante jeunesse. So, and these school could appoint a student to also sit on the board of directors. So that's 10, but by, according to our bylaws, it's at least nine. So kudos to us, you're now 10. And I motion, make a motion to accept my report. Scott seconds. <laughs> Est-ce y avait-il d'autres nominations dans la salle? Are there any other nominations uh, on the floor? Une deuxième fois, y a-t-il d'autres nominations dans la salle? Are there any other nominations? Une troisième fois, y a-t-il d'autres nominations dans la salle? Uh, are there any other nominations? OK. Um, ça fait que s'il n'y en a pas d'autres, je crois qu'il euh, y, y en a une couple qui ne pouvait pas être ici de soir, mais ils m'avaient dit qu'ils sont encore intéressés euh, d'en faire partie. So, if there's no one else, um, there's a few on the list that, uh, that couldn't be here tonight because of other meetings and uh, engagements, uh, but they are still interested in, in being on the list. Um, puis, euh, c'est... Réjean? J'appuie la motion parce que je vous en sois voté. Oui, moi j'avais appuyé, ah, okay. puis j'ai oublié de demander de faire passer au vote pareil. Um, so, Lisa proposed that the, the report be accepted. I uh, supported her motion. Um, is tout ça en faveur, signalant disant oui. All those in favor, um, say aye. Contre non. Adopté. Ça fait que c'est ça la réunion annuelle 2020. Uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you for coming out. Uh, uh, last time we tried to do it was in uh, 120 plus kilometer per hour winds. Um, it, there may be a reason we didn't do the AGMs in the winter so often. Uh, maybe we do have to stick with fall, but it's a discussion for, for another time. If there are any questions, s'il y a des questions, n'hésitez pas de, de venir me voir. Uh, come see me, uh, don't hesitate, or uh, get in touch uh, with me uh, via email or, or, or a phone number, and uh, uh, yeah, thank you for coming out.